This is Dominic Walsh, and I have asked Addie Tsai, my co-conceiver of Victor Frankenstein, to speak about the novel by Mary Shelley and our collaborative process in creating this adaptation. Because there is such an intense knowledge of Frankenstein in our cultural consciousness, I felt that Dominic's use of abstract and psychological narrative, combined with movement, would be a most compelling fit for the complex psychology deeply buried but very actualized in the true Frankenstein story. At the time that I approached Dominic, I was interested in and impressed by his use of literary and cultural works that have informed some of his previous choreographic projects, such as Titus Andronicus, Romeo and Juliet, and Amadeus. In addition, there is an intensity to the emotionality of his dancers that I felt was necessary in interpreting, through movement, the narcissism and projection of the artist slash creation in Frankenstein. I believe there is something about the role projection plays in Frankenstein that lends itself to dance theater, to a kind of physicality that only movement can express. When I first read Mary Shelley's novel almost 10 years ago, I approached it in a very expected way. I saw the novel as a cautionary tale, a warning of what happens when man tries to take God's power in his own hands. Now, in my deepened relationship with Shelley and her novel, it has become clear that it is a much more complex narrative. As I came to know her story, I started to see this novel as a memorial to Shelley's mother. Mary Wollstonecraft was a feminist writer famous for her book, The Vindication of the Rights of Women, a work that argued against the misconception of the time that women were intellectually inferior to men by birth. Shelley herself suffered from abandonment as Wollstonecraft died from complications of childbirth ten days after she was born. Shelley's world was unlike that of other women writers of her time. She was surrounded by her husband, the poet Percy Shelley, and his contemporaries, men whom she came to know through her father. I find it fascinating that the novel, although written by a woman, is a very male-centered novel and is itself a birth story, but a birth gone wrong. Frankenstein, although widely thought of as a classic horror tale, is really the story of abandonment through narcissism, a fundamental psychological archetype of our time. The monster Frankenstein creates becomes a projection of Frankenstein himself. Like Frankenstein, the monster has no real place in society, alienated from humanity for his wretchedness. I believe that although it has not been examined in the popular film mythology of Frankenstein, that what is at the novel's essence is the depiction of the narcissist. It is the narcissist in Frankenstein that compels him to create his monster and abandon his creation out of fear of its connection with himself. What excites me most about this collaboration are the open and thoughtful exchanges between Dominic and myself regarding the conception of this project. We, as creators ourselves, are both drawn to similar psychological facets of the Frankenstein monster profile, yet come from different points of view. I feel that these combined perspectives, once on stage, will give a more enriched narrative and body of movement to the Frankenstein myth. Dominic comes with a wide and varied understanding of psychological archetypes of this nature, and an understanding for the history of similar characters in past seminal dance works. This enables him to access the material quickly, with a readiness for complexity, while also taking Frankenstein to a new, uncharted level in dance theater. Come join us on February 10th, 11th, and 12th at the Hobby Center for the Performing Arts.